Next we're going to talk about adding audio with Windows Movie Maker. If you do not want to have audio in your slideshow then you don't need to worry about this step. However, audio does help. Uh, of course if you chose to uh, speak while you recorded with Camp Studio you can do that. You don't have to worry about this step as well. But uh, just let's say for simplicity's sake that you do want to add audio. It can be done quickly and easily by using a program that should already be on your system called Windows Movie Maker. Just do a search on your desktop for it. It should pop right up. And you'll see that it looks like this. Essentially what you need to do is load your files in that you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and you know find my video. They're in the Cam Studio directory. I went ahead and loaded that. And then of course also the music that you have. Okay, there we go. That's the music that I'm going to use. Uh, where do you get music? Well, you can go to the search engines and type in royalty-free music and a whole bunch of stuff comes up. You can't use music that's copyrighted that would get you in big, big trouble. So what you need to do then, of course, is to go out there and find music that you have the rights to. You can purchase it, or a lot of times you can find people even giving it away for free. You can see here, Royalty Free Music for $2. You can even go to a place like the Warrior Forum and get uh, you know, a pack of music for you know, just a couple bucks, then you have it. So I try to find music that's, you know, that's kind of standard, typical stuff. So what you do then is, of course, you take your, uh, let me start over here for you. You just take your, your video and drag it down here. And then also the audio, and drag it down here, okay? And there you go, and you can see here that, uh, of course, my audio track is a lot longer than my video track, so I need to go ahead and trim this down, because we don't want the video to stop and then the audio not to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and put the line right there at the end, and then go over here to split, and split that audio track. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Let's go ahead and cut it. And there we go. Now, uh, my track should be uh, down to 15 seconds. And of course, obviously, hopefully your video is a lot longer than that. This is just an example. OK, that's it then. Then we can go ahead and uh, create this. Publish movie. Publish it for, uh, let's see here. This computer will do that. OK. Test movie. Okay, this is going to create a WMV file, which should be fine to upload to YouTube. Okay, let's see here. And go ahead and publish it. And we'll just go ahead and, and let that do its magic here. It doesn't take too long. Of course, if your video is longer, it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Play the movie when I finish. Okay, there we go. There we have our movie. Now it's time to talk about what we're going to do with that movie, of course, and how we can start uploading it to the other video sites.